There were big shifts in pop culture this week. Kanye went back to being Kanye. Janelle Monae came out as queer, and rapper Meek Mill was released from prison for parole violation. But the fall of icon Bill Cosby is clearly the biggest thing that happened this week. Using his undeniable skills as a comedian through the guise of accessible blackness, Bill Cosby built a storied career in television and entertainment. He was the first black man to win a Best Actor Emmy for a role in a dramatic series, and he created and starred in what is arguably the most successful program in the history of television, The Cosby Show, about a Brooklyn-based gynecologist who saw women patients in his basement office while his picture-perfect family danced and smiled up above. However, Cosby used the power and respect he gained through all of this to become the number one troll of black America, particularly black men insisting on their pathology and implying that police would be justified in shooting a black man caught with a stolen, quote, piece of pound cake in his hand, close quote. Yep, he said it. Yet while he obsessively projected an imagined pathology on others, he was actually practicing it himself through a pattern of luring, drugging, assaulting, and discarding scores of women since just after blacks got the right to vote. Well, this week, Bill Cosby, America's funny man, finally landed on something that his joviality and moralizing couldn't hide the truth of his own conviction. It turns out that the person who millions wanted as their dad was in fact the father that nobody wants. That's our show for this week. Join us next week for a special edition of The Last Sip. I'm Amar Jones.